Hello and welcome to the Flask Mega Tutorial. My name is Miguel Greenberg and I'm going to be your host on this journey through web development with Python and Flask. In this introductory video, I want to give you an overview of the topics that are covered. And I'm going to do that by showing you a demo of the final version of Microblog, the application that we are going to build throughout this tutorial. The application has a user subsystem that allows users to log in and out. It also has a registration page for users to create new accounts and a password recovery option for users that forget their passwords. I already have an account on this server, so I'm going to go ahead and log in. And this is my homepage where you can see two blog posts that I've written, one two months ago and one just seven minutes ago. I can go ahead and write one more and it immediately gets added to my timeline. I can click on my name to access my profile page where you can see some information about myself and my followers or the users that I'm following. If I want to change my information, I can access my profile editor and make changes. But obviously, the whole point of this application is for users to interact with each other. So for that, I have the explore page where I can see the blog posts that all the users in the system are writing. There's support for pagination, so I can go back and forth on a long list of blog posts. If I'm interested in a user, I can click their name and I see their profile page. I can now follow the user. Let's pick a couple more and follow them. So now if I go back to my home page, I not only see my blog posts, but I also see the ones from the users that I'm following. So this is a personalized timeline that shows all the posts that I'm interested in. I'd say that the features that I showed you so far are covered in the first half of the tutorial, and these are fairly accessible to beginners. The second half of the tutorial covers slightly more advanced features. For example, there is a search option, so I can search for all the posts that have the word hello, or I can do something a little bit more complex and search for a phrase. And here the search engine that I'm using is intelligent and it will give me at the top the posts that match more of the words that I typed, but it will also show me partial hits. Another option that is also in the advanced section is the live translation of blog posts in a different language. So to demonstrate that, I'm going to write a post in Spanish. And the system immediately recognized that this post is written in another language, so it gives me the translate link. So I can hit the link and in a second I get a live translation to English. There are a couple of features that combine server-side Python with client-side JavaScript. For example, I can hover my mouse over a username and I get a pop-up with user information. Users can also send private messages to other users. And to demonstrate that, I'm going to send myself a private message from a different machine. So there we go. I have sent myself a message. And now, without me doing anything, I get a notification on my navigation bar. And by clicking there, I can see the message. To complete this demo, I'm going to show you one more feature that relies on a combination of Python and JavaScript. In my profile page, I have a link to export my posts as a data file. 
So I can click on this and because this could potentially be a long process if I have a lot of blog posts, I'm running this as a background process separate from the server process. And immediately when the task starts, I display progress information on this green bar. The progress updates on its own without me having to reload the page. But this is even more interesting because I can continue navigating the site and the context is not lost. The application remembers that I have a task that's currently running in the background. With this, I'm going to end this demonstration. I hope this is useful and it helps you decide if this tutorial is interesting to you or not. And if you decide that it is, I look forward to see you when you begin chapter one.